Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining uh, my uh, lecture today. My name is Tatsuya Yamazaki from Niigata University, and I am very happy to have such an occasion to present uh, my uh, research about QoS and QoE. Today's title is From QoS to QoE, Review of Changes in cybersecurity research. And this is this lecture is prepared for the beginner in this field or the young researchers who are interested in uh, internet uh, service technology or research. So uh, don't expect too much uh, for this uh, lecture. Uh, about the research theme. Okay, let's start the background of this research. Uh, as you know, uh, the internet commercial service started in the 20th century. Uh, firstly, uh, the speed was very slow and um, just connecting it to the internet and um, exchange the email was uh, very surprising uh, for me. And uh, after that, um, but uh, suddenly um, many, many or several services uh, happened. Uh, for example, uh, in 94, Amazon uh, started uh, their um, book business first, but now, uh, as you know, uh, everything uh, as sold in Amazon um, platform now. And then Google started their uh, search engine services in 98. And in 21st century, uh, SNS uh, has spread widely, like Facebook or YouTube. And YouTube um, provides uh, internet streaming, video streaming services. And we, our, our life uh, has been rich uh, because of these um, multimedia services. After that, in 2007, uh, iPhone uh, appeared in our life. Uh, so everyone, everyone can use each person's smartphone to access to the internet and internet uh, has become a uh, infrastructure in our uh, daily life. Then the uh, broadband uh, internet services has uh, spread and the performance of terminal, uh, I mean uh, smartphone, uh, has increased uh, so much. And we are very, um, uh, happy to use such a uh, internet services uh, now. Okay, um, just uh, one uh, additional thing, uh, smart speaker, such a uh, uh, so-called AI technology has uh, uh, entered into the internet services also. Now uh, we are um, in the era of 5G and recently um, the beyond 5G and research started. And uh, soon, uh, the next era of 6G uh, will appear in our uh, lives. And in these services, uh, in the research of QoS and QoE, uh, we have to uh, evaluate uh, how much the services are satisfied by the customers. What is the difference between QoS and QoE? So this is the first uh, target in this lecture. So the communication service should be end-to-end. -end. In this context, uh, end means uh, terminal and terminal, or device to device. 
when the uh, end terminal communicate to the other end terminal, the service quality is called as QoS quality of service, but uh, the the uh, terminal or uh, devices are used by humans. When humans appears here, the sub quality is called as QoE quality of experience, and we are now distinguishes di 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 distinguishing uh, these two words QoS and QoE. When this dis distinguishing QoS and QoE uh, happened, uh, started. Uh, this is the first topics of in this uh, lecture. Um, this slide shows um, my uh, mm, previous uh, research uh, model uh, about QoS. Uh, this research uh, was done in yeah, 2001, around 2000. And uh, yeah, we depicted uh, such a model uh, 20, about 22 or 23 years ago. So um, we separated QS uh, concepts uh, layer by layer and layer. In the uh, lower layer, lowest layer, uh, we set uh, resource QS. And resource means a uh, network resource and terminal resources, uh, buffering, buffer or memory in terminal, uh, or uh, of course CPU resource uh, can be included here. And then uh, above, uh, we set up network QS and terminal QS. These are more uh, uh, abstract uh, concept about QS. So here, uh, resource QS means a uh, uh, physically uh, concrete QS parameter. And this network QS and terminal QS are uh, uh, abstract uh, QS parameter. And uh, above the uh, network and terminal QS is uh, we set application QS. So application QS is different from each application, uh, video or uh, audio, or sometimes uh, text to file, file transfer. And in uh, for each application, we set uh, QS parameters. Here, um, I'd like to uh, let you focus on here. Uh, we set user QoS, not QoE. Uh, here. So at this moment, uh, at this moment, we thought uh, we should uh, uh, transfer, we should uh, map application QS to user level QS. So it is related with user Q requirement. This is uh, done in about 2000. Around uh, in 2000 uh, year, there's no concept of QoE. QoE terminology appeared uh, in ITUT uh, standardization uh, standardization uh, document in 2007. Of course, uh, discussion uh, has begun um, before, but uh, uh, officially it appeared. Uh, in 2009. In this uh, document, it is uh, said the overall acceptability of an application or service as perceived subjectively by the end user. So uh, QoE should be uh, recognized by the end user. This is a, a same uh, concept as uh, the uh, user QoS in the uh, previous slide. But um, interestingly, it has been amended 
in 2019 as the degree of delight or annoyance of the user of an application or service. So it become a little bit simpler、uh, compared to this、uh, sentence in 2007. What happened between these two years? So I checked here.、Um, I re re、uh, referred to another document、uh, published by、uh, Etsy.、Uh, this is a, a standard, standardization institute in the EU,、uh, European Telecommunication Standards Institute. In Etsy,、uh, there was a, a study group called Coordinate. So, this is group、uh, studied about quality of experience and they published a white paper. Okay,、uh, this is another、um, uh, document from、uh, Coordinate、uh, Speech and Multimedia Transmission、uh, Quality. Uh, here, uh, they uh, layered、uh, the service from the resources to the、uh, level of user and they Defined、uh, subjective QOE. So,、um, from this example,、uh, such a layered model is、uh, useful for the、uh, internet multimedia services. And we have to consider、uh, from the、uh, level of resources to the level of、uh, users. And the、uh, top of the, these layers、uh, usually、uh, subject to QOE is located. Okay,、uh, let's go to the、uh, coordinate document about QOE. So they defined QOE in the white paper, like this one.、Oh, I just read、um, the red color、um, sentences.、Uh, quality of experience is a degree of delight or annoyance of the user of an application or service. This is uh, uh, exactly the same、uh, sentence in the document of ITUT in 2019. So,、um, this Etsy、uh, discussion, Etsy、um, documentation、uh, has been included in the ITUT、uh, standardization. So, very、um, uh, Interesting <laughs> for me. So, ITUT is a worldwide uh, standardization uh, institute, uh, but uh, uh, European discussion uh, is uh, uh, surpassed uh, this, uh, this uh, worldwide institution discussion. So, I found this fact and uh, uh, I summar、uh, up. And another uh, point uh, I, I Would like to add another、um, founding、uh, from the standardization document in ITUT. So, in 2008, one、uh, recommendation document says、uh, the QOS is the ability to satisfy stated and implied needs of the user of the service. This is the definition of the、uh, QOS. So, In this、uh, time, the user needs are included in the definition of QOS, not QOE. So, initially,、uh, in the、uh, initial、uh, era of the internet services, QOS and QOE is not、uh, strictly divided、uh, into two.、Uh, they Were, uh, they were discussed、uh, what is the QOS and the QOE. And finally, now uh, it is um, uh, divided, uh, distinguished. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, in this lecture, the final、uh, discussion is、uh, how is it a right to this、uh, separate these two concepts、uh, or We should uh, uh, merge these co concepts again. So, this is a, a target of this、uh, lecture, the final target.
Okay, anyway, um, let's summarize uh, this uh, standardization uh, process. Okay, so QS research started uh, to the end of the 20th century. And firstly, um, I think uh, QOS, the terminology QS appeared, and uh, the definition of QS uh, appeared in ITUT documentation E.800. Uh, it, it says uh, QS is to satisfy stated and implied needs of the user of the service. Okay. Again, uh, let's focus on here. Uh, the user of the service is defined in QS. <clears throat> then um, QOE was defined in this document P.10 uh, slash G.100. The overall acceptability of an application or service as perceived subjectively by the end user. Uh, here again, so end user appeared uh, in the definition of QOE. After that, uh, between uh, 2010 to 2013, uh, Corinet in Etsy uh, discussed about QOE and they summarized the definition of QOE in their white paper as the degree of delight or annoyance of the user of an application or services. And it is uh, taken over to the uh, recent to, uh, modification of QOE definition in ITUT uh, standardization document. So, uh, sorry, uh, uh, a little bit longer about the uh, uh, historical aspect of the QOE, but uh, what uh, I'd like to say is, firstly, um, QOS and QOE are not separated um, clearly. But uh, after that, uh, after the discussion in ITU, ITUT or uh, Corinet, uh, the definition uh, was the definitions were divided into two, uh, two terminology, QS and QOE. And that is uh, this uh, slide. So QS is uh, before the user. Recent, uh, in, in those days, in those days, re re regarding QOS, it does not include user aspect uh, usually. QS means a uh, uh, performance of the system, uh, network or terminal. So the usually network parameters uh, can be included, is uh, included in QS parameters like uh, bandwidth, delay, jitter, uh, packet uh, loss rate, uh, like that. And other than this QS parameter related to the uh, humans, it is called a QOE. So this definition is from the uh, initial ITUT uh, documentation. So related with the end user, QOE is defined. So uh, now the QoS is related with a uh, system-centric uh, concept, and QoE is related with a user-centric concept. Uh, but uh, these two concepts are not uh, not uh, connected so strongly. Uh, it is not so. Uh, we, Hopefully, uh, expectably, expect uh, these two concepts should be merged uh, much tightly, and we ha have to design the uh, internet services uh, from the user-specific, user-centric uh, aspect. And for that, uh, we need uh, uh, some other uh, study groups uh, re collaboration. Uh, about the social uh, 
technology or psychological uh, person, uh, person's comments uh, to include the uh, human specific uh, uh, evaluation about the service. So after that, uh, uh, lastly, uh, I I'd like to show this slide again. So um, before that, uh, next I will talk about the present situation, about the QoS study and the QoE study, uh, mainly for about the QoE study. So the, these two keywords were um, so-called separated and uh, the studies were exploited uh, in each area. Um, so extremely saying, so maybe, uh, yeah, some groups are, are doing that, uh, these two keyword research simultaneously, but uh, uh, sometimes they are separated. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, about the QS uh, research, uh, there are very uh, massive research results from this group and uh, from the um, layer of the uh, protocol and um, the security uh, issues are included. And uh, of course, uh, QS measuring and monitoring uh, is needed. And uh, the communication styles are different uh, between wired and wireless, but the uh, wired communication and wireless communication should be uh, merged, uh, converged. So such a uh, many topics were uh, studied in from the QS viewpoint uh, for these 15 uh, years and many pro progressed uh, results were appear appeared. About the theory related issues, <clears throat> Um, so I direct to summarize uh, QOE researches into four areas. First, uh, QS measurement, and Q including QS at QOE mapping. And this is uh, how to evaluate uh, quality, service quality from the viewpoint of, of a user. And for that, Usually, subjective evaluation uh, should be uh, studied. And about that, uh, some standardized methods were developed. And after that, uh, QOE parameter, uh, we have to parameterize, parameterize, parameterize the QOE evaluation and these parameters uh, should be um, mapped into the QS level parameter. Uh, this is called the QOE, QS and QOE mapping or QS QOE translation. This is one uh, area of the QOE study. The second QOE study area is the QOE assessment. So how much how how much level uh the QOE is satisfied or uh, realized uh from the viewpoint of humor. So this is related with humans and uh, um sometimes it is difficult to establish a uh, uh, assessment method about QOE. But uh, this is a second area. And then to control the system, we have to model the QOE and sometimes including a QS. And this is called a QOE modeling. And for that, uh, firstly, we have to uh, define the uh, which, which factors are eff effective about effective for QOE. These are called the QA factors, and this area also 
uh, related with the humans and uh, some research uh, propose uh, influence factors uh, about the uh, QA modeling. So I'd like to uh, introduce uh, these, these influence factors in the uh, later uh, slides. And the last and the fourth QE area is a QE adaptation or QE control, QE assurance. Uh, this is a, a system uh, driving point. So how to control the QE? Uh, this is a final or a final destination, final goal of this uh, QE researches, but not so many researches uh, succeeded uh, about this level of uh, QOE research. And so I direct say this the last uh, research area is uh, promising, is promising for QOE studies. Okay. Today, I want to yeah, introduce mainly this QE measurement parts and partly, partly QE modeling parts. So because of a short of time, okay, about the QE measuring measurement. Um, these were discussed uh, in standardization uh, bodies. Uh, like ITUT, and the most uh, uh, famous, most uh, popular uh, standardization is a, a mean opinion score, uh, so-called MOS. This is uh, very simple. So we collect the uh, subjects, uh, panelists, to assess the uh, service quality and the each uh, subject uh, evaluates the service and score uh, the service, uh, for example, in five levels uh, from the one to five. And we uh, average, uh, average these uh, scores uh, to extract the uh, most values. So, very popular and many people are using this uh, uh, evaluation method. And uh, other methods are developed in ITUT, uh, especially for video quality assessment. Uh, these are the uh, standardized methods, uh, ACL, DCL, PC, uh, this SCQS, uh, we call this one uh, sometimes uh, this discuss uh, SSCQE uh, some big. So these are uh, popular methods, I so think, and uh, uh, some are used for uh, video quality uh, assessment. And uh, I skip uh, the details uh, of each method today, but you can uh, refer refer to some uh, documents uh, or standardization documents uh, from ITUT about each uh, method. Okay. Oh, yeah. And these methods are so-called subjective assessment methods, subjective, subjective evaluation methods. So uh, each person, uh, himself or herself um, assess, evaluate the services by their, by his or her um, uh, feeling, subjective feeling. So they are called the subjective uh, evaluation. Compared to this subject methods, um, we hope, we expect uh, to develop a uh, uh, objective method. It means um, uh, without 
some uh, intentionally uh, evaluation. We'd like to uh, assess, evaluate the service itself from uh, some, some method. And for that, sometimes um, humans' uh, physiological uh, reaction is used for evaluation. So these three uh, examples are such a physiological uh, methods, uh, electro encephalography, uh, so called EEG, so brain waves methods, and electrical skin registers. Uh, skin is, is a, yeah, just a skin. Uh, usually we use uh, sometimes a hand. Um, we, um, some, okay, <laughs> yeah, uh, and also a heartbeat is used for detects the uh, feeling of, uh, uh, QOE, um, these are common, uh, from the viewpoint of stress, so this body reaction changes uh, due to stress uh, to the body. For, for example, electrical skin resistance, so we feel some stress, uh, you sweat in the hand. So sweat is uh, yeah, um, water and the skin resistance uh, may change. If we uh, detect some such a change, we can uh, measure the stress. So this is a um, relation between the QOE and uh, uh, physiological um, measuring methods. So yeah, not, QOE is uh, uh, sometimes so sometimes uh, level of satisfaction, but uh, sometimes this is uh, we uh, measure the stress of the body uh, and uh, satisfaction. But uh, from this uh, measurement, we can uh, expect, we can uh, estimate the level of QOE uh, service uh, quality, the quality degradation. Okay. Um, about these uh, methods, uh, in our laboratory, we uh, did some experiments. Uh, and I'd like to show two results uh, in this lecture. First one is a uh, um, brainwave uh, EEG uh, method. So this shows a uh, illustration of the uh, experiment. And the subject plays a game here. And this game, we set some disturbance in these games. Um, for example, if this subject controls the uh, uh, actor, uh, this character, but the controlling is disturbant uh, because of uh, uh, human interface. So he or she feels uh, some stress to control this character, avatar. And uh, in this situation, we measure uh, the EEG uh, using such a, a devices. <laughs> and as a result, as a result, we uh, measure the uh, theta wave fluctuation uh, when uh, the disturbance occurred. So, if we use the EEG measurement, uh, we focus on the theta wave, and from this, uh, subs degradation can be detected, may be detected uh, from this result. And another uh, finding was such a uh, theta wave fluctuation is different from the uh, game carrier uh, difference. Uh, I mean, the beginner and the uh, have say professional players uh, 
shows uh, presents presented uh, different uh, theta wave changes. And also, we invited uh, uh, subjects from, uh, ja uh, I invited Japanese subject and Chinese subject. And uh, we did that uh, test uh, statistically, but uh, these two uh, countries' uh, subjects showed some differences between their theta wave changes. So this is one um, founding from this uh, experiment. And the second example is like this one. Uh, we use the uh, uh, skin uh, conductance uh, measurement. So this subject uh, attached the uh, skin conductan conductance um, measurement device uh, in his finger and uh, other uh, uh, hands uh, control the QOE monitoring. So this, this in this experiment, we measure the subject subjective QOE as well as uh, objective QOE. Objective QOE means uh, uh, skin conductance. So this graph shows one example of the uh, experimental result. The uh, yeah, uh, blue line shows the skin conductance uh, measurement different uh, result. And here, uh, a little bit jump up of the uh, blue line uh, is shown. And the orange dot line shows the uh, uh, subject to QOE changes. And this line shows, uh, uh, oh, sorry, uh, this subject is watching, was watching a video and we intentionally um, insert some uh, stop, scene stop duration or uh, resolution degradation uh, duration in this video. So this uh, duration shows such a quality degradation uh, period. So uh, this person was watching this video and when the degradation, uh, uh, the quality degraded, the con skin conductance uh, increased and subject to QH decreased. So these are uh, synchronized. So we expected uh, QE estimation using uh, skin conductance uh, can be expected uh, to detect the uh, video uh, quality degradation from this uh, experiment. Okay, so after uh, measuring the QOE, we would like to uh, map, map uh, between the QS parameter and the QOE uh, evaluation. For that, uh, there are, I think there are two kinds of methods. One is a table-based mapping method. So this is just a, uh, the corresponding parameters uh, table uh, prepared in advance. And we use this uh, uh, correspondence to estimate the, the other parameters from, this, from these tables. Another is uh, uh, we uh, calculate, uh, we extract some uh, functional model to map the one parameter to other pr parameters. So function-based mapping method. Okay, so this is a very uh, simple one. Okay, also um, after we get the QS me QOE measurement and the QS QOE mapping, then we combine this result into one model uh so called QA modeling so uh we uh insert the QA factor and QA factors and QS parameters here QS QA mapping uh is um uh, done uh in in this 
uh, box and also some user satisfaction computation uh, can be did here. Okay, this model is very uh, abstract one and uh, what kind of mechanism should we uh, set up here? This is um, the future issue, but uh, I have some um, promising method uh, here now. Uh, that is a machine learning method. So uh, finally, I, I will talk about this one. Okay, and another research uh, showed there are four kind of influence factors. Uh, one is a system uh, IF influence factor and a human or user influence factors, context IFs, content IFs. So one research uh, showed the, these uh, influence factors. So this is one idea to construct uh, this modeling here. Okay, and finally, uh, QE adaptation is uh, how to control the uh, system itself, but uh, this is a, a promising area. So um, this is a, another, again, a um, very abstract uh, image. So if we, if, if we can estimate QOE based on the established QOE model, uh, we do the QOE, QS and QOE mapping. So we extract the QS parameters and uh, based on the estimated QS mapping parameter, we control or we manage the system resources uh, in, the, in here, um, very, very abstract. But uh, finally, um, this QS research is how to manage the resources. So this principle model is not changed so much, I think. Okay, uh, finally, uh, in fi as a final point of this lecture, uh, I, I want to uh, briefly show the future uh, expectation, uh, refusion of QS and QOE. Recently, uh, in ITUT, uh, they established a focus group uh, on machine learning for future network, including 5G, uh, shortly FG MLS 5G. So this was established in 2017, but as you know, um, COVID-19 um, pandemic uh, uh, started, but uh, during uh, this pandemic, this study group um, discussed uh, several times and uh, ended uh, 2020. And they published uh, 10 technical specifications about machine learning ML for future networks. So not only for uh, QoS and QoE, but also uh, interfaces, uh, network architecture, protocol algorithm, and data formats. So these study group's results are, are very important uh, for the future design of the network, including QoS and QoE, I think. And based on these results, maybe we have to use uh, yeah, machine learning also. And uh, IoT uh, has uh, involved uh, so much. And uh, we uh, get uh, some wearable devices, uh, grass type uh, or watch type. So we can detect some human uh, reaction in real time. So combine, combining these uh, evolving uh, technologies, we, I propose we should refuse uh, the QS part and QE part. Here, I call it uh, QOX. And totally, we have to study about the Q, QOX uh, part of the uh, internet services using such a 
uh, evolving technologies. So this is uh, my uh, uh, today's idea to the uh, new young researchers uh, to establish a new uh, study area uh, combining a QS and QOE. Okay, so this slide concludes uh, my lecture today. Uh, firstly, I reviewed uh, QS and QOE uh, from a historical viewpoint, why these two words appeared and uh, in a sense, uh, they were divided uh, into two research uh, areas. And um, but uh, in each research area, uh, many research works uh, has been developed and uh, uh, explorating. And uh, Q I, uh, especially, I introduced the QE related issues today, uh, such as QE assessment or QE modeling. And finally, uh, I uh, shortly uh, propose a, a new research area, QOX. This is a refusal of QOS and QOE. So I'd like to um, collaborate with uh, uh, young generation researchers uh, in this area uh, in near future. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is the end of my uh, today's lecture. Thank you so much. So if you have any question, uh, please write in the chat part in this Zoom webinar. I think now there is no question and comments. Okay, uh, thank you again uh, so much uh, for today's, uh, you are participating uh, in this lecture and I hope uh, you could understand uh, what I'd like to say. And uh, I want to conclude uh, today's uh, lecture uh, now. Okay, thank you so much.